Hi there, welcome to another Kevy Shaves. It's really nice to have you here. Um, today I'm going to show you around my shave den. <laughs> that sounds like a bit of a magical mystery tour. Um, because I have quite a bit of stuff, I don't want to do it all in one video, so I'm going to break it into three separate videos. One of the videos being soaps and creams, uh, another video being brushes, razors and blades, and another video with pre-shave creams, aftershaves and balms. So that's the, the three videos I'm going to do. Um, I was trying to figure out a way to do it and rather than holding the camera and trying to open soaps and stuff like that, what I'm going to do is the camera at the moment is sitting on um, uh, like a cabinet thing that I've got all my shave stuff in. So what I'll do, I'll turn the camera around, I'll hold it, I'll show you what's in each. Um, there's a, maybe about six or seven drawers in this thing. Um, so I'll show you what's in each drawer and then I'll take them out and uh, I'll set the camera up on the tripod and we can go through what it is. So let's have a look in the first one. Okay, so we've uh, looked in the first drawer, so here we go. I'm just going to show you them up close now. Uh, Razor Rock Triple X. Um, and for, for anyone that doesn't know about the scent of this, it's just amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, yeah, I have this tub, which is, um, if you guys can see it on the bottom there, 2014. And I also have this tub, which I think... Um, the bottom of the label's a little bit scrubbed off, but I think it's um, I think this one's 2015. I've taken some samples out of this to send to people. Oh, but it smells just as just as good. Um, Razor Rock Z Papino. This is a, a green tobacco scented soap. And again, that's how it looks. Um, yeah, it's just a, an amazing cell cell smell. Um, this one is holy cannoli, and it smells exactly like a cannoli. I haven't actually used this yet, but um, yeah, very very good. Uh, I haven't used this one either, Tuscan Oud. I just got this recently. Um, this one has like a, um, a kind of dark, smoky, not not like. Um, it's quite earthy. I would say it's a quite an earthy scent, but it's nice. It's got like a almost like a leathery, tobacco-y kind of scent along the lines of Z Papino, but not as um, crisp. Son of Zeus, amazing soap, amazing smell. Um, orange and vetiver. It smells um, the same as Dr. Harris Windsor. Exactly the same. And you can um, use um, fine l'orange noir. That pairs beautifully with that. Uh, Razor Rock for New York. Um, again, I haven't used this, um, but just a a nice clean lemony, citrusy scent. Just a uh, beautiful um, Razor Rock Al Sapone, which was made for. Ray Pope, and this is a yeah leather, leather and uh, kind of like um, almost like a vanilla. I'm getting quite a like a, a sweet leathery smell. Very nice, very masculine scent. Um, and lastly, I know it's not a razor rock, but um, it's Italian barber. It's it's kind of the same people, isn't it? Uh, but this millionario. This soap is... Oh. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Okay. So that's the, uh, the the Razor Rock drawer, as I like to call it. Yeah, I just love the um, the labels on these as well. I want to get more Razor Rock because it's, um, 
if not for the labels. <laughs> and they're so cheap, they're great value as well. Okay, that's the first one. Let's move on to drawer number two. Okay, so we're going on now to drawer number two. And here we have LPL, the UK Wet Shearing Society, limited edition apricot, reef point soaps intrepid, cella, nanny silly soap, wet shaving products, rustic shaving soap vetiver, Simpsons sandalwood, Haslinger honey, Arco, uh, Phoenix artisan accoutrements, oak moss and sage, Taconic Shave, Urban Woods, uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Club Guy, OSP Bay Rum, um, Katie's Bubbles, La Piment de la Vie, and Shaver Heaven Barbershop. So that's the way that one looks. So we can now go and I'll go through the soaps. Okay, drawer number two. Uh, first one I'm picking out is Nanny's Silly Soap. And this is Citrus Zinger. Um, this comes in this nice red tin. This was one of the first soaps I bought. Oh, it's just amazing. The, the scent on it, it actually says what, uh, how it's described, the Citrus Zinger. And it's just a Citrus Zing. Is the best way I can describe it. It's a great performing soap, Nanny Silly Soap, very underrated, um, a British soap. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is uh, one of the Super Six, Cella, and this is Almond. Fantastic soap. The next one, Reef Point Soaps Intrepid, and this is a take on Brute 33. Smells exactly the same. Uh, if you guys like Brute, um, Reef Point Soaps Intrepid is for you. This one is La Pierre Lucien UK Wet Shaving Society Limited Edition Apricot. Uh, there is a, a new UK Wet Shaving Society soap that's just came out, made by OSP, James Riley, but this was the, the first one. And it's a beautiful apricot scent comes in this little tub and it's a, an LPL soap. Very good. Um, the first soap or cream that I ever shaved with on video was this Simpsons Sandalwood. Uh, and it comes in this nice silver tin and there's the cream in there. I've taken out some samples for people and it's, it's the most <laughs> earthy, smoky, Dirty sandalwood. Oh, it's just so manly scent. It's um, it smells like it almost. I don't, it's hard to describe, but it's just very, very masculine. Um, but really nice. Simpsons, uh, a great performing cream. Uh, WSP vetiver. Um, this comes in a little screw tin, and there's the soap there. Oh, I love the smell of vetiver. And that hits the spot. <laughs> um, so that's WSP. Um, Haslinger Honey. And this is a, a great performing little soap. It's just let down by the packaging maybe, but um, it comes in this little plastic tub. But man, the scent on this. It smells like a beehive. Lovely. And, and beautifully um, performing soap. Really nice. One of the Super Six. Arco. I've not actually used this puck. I have um, used an Arco stick in the past. Everybody has their own opinions on Arco. I think it's okay, but some people say it smells like um, toilets. <laughs> Taconic shave soap. Urban Woods. Um, this was uh, kindly sent to me and it's a uh, yeah, it smells, it smells like pine. It's a very good, very good performing soap. Uh, this one is Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements 
oak moss and sage and um, this if I'm being honest <clears throat> the other one the other PAA I have in that drawer which is club guy um, club guy and oak moss and sage to me smell very very similar club guy um, to me has an, a nice as a beautiful barbershop scent but the oak moss and sage to my nose anyway smells a little bit fresher it's almost the same but almost the same as this but I think um, yeah I like I prefer that I actually prefer the oak moss and sage um, I think they maybe have they maybe have similar ingredients I don't know maybe is oak moss and sage in this but uh, I think I prefer this one actually it's um it's really quite fresh next one OSP Bay Rum and this is a fantastic smelling soap and as you can see I've taken some samples out it's just a, a great Bay Rum not too strong not too clovey and um, a wonderful performing soap from James Riley and OSP um, Katie's Bubbles LPV Le Piment de la Vie nothing really much to say about this <sighs> beautiful scent performs like a dream fantastic fantastic cream or soap yeah, I suppose it is a cream yeah it's kind of very very soft and the last one in this drawer is Shaver Heaven Barbershop Shaver Heaven from Australia um, and it comes in this nice packaged tub and there's lots of room to load the brush <sighs> the scent on this is incredible I mean you you get Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements classic barbershop scent and this barbershop and they smell totally different <laughs> this one is a very very fresh clean smelling uh, the, the Phoenix one for me it has a nice scent but this one is um, a little bit more clean smelling just a wonderful wonderful scent and the performance uh, from Shaver Heaven Soaps is absolutely stellar stellar fantastic okay that's that one let's go on to the next uh, drawer which is drawer number three okay so we'll now go on to drawer number three which is this one and we'll open that up and inside that I have Tiki Bar Soap the Captain underneath that another Tiki Bar Soap the Captain <clears throat> um, Taconic Shave Bay Rum Cream Wickham's Lavender, English Lavender, Wickham's Bay Rum, um, Shannon Soap, Woodland Frost, good old Tabac, Hasslinger Coconut, Williams Mug Shaving Soap, uh, Knockout Shave Cool Blue, Wickham's 1912, I think this is the Scottish Heather, this was a prototype um, Phoenix and Bow Spitfire Phoenix and Bow Sanskrit um, that's uh, Valobra Patchouli OSP Orange and Patchouli OSP Neroli um, two palm olive shave sticks Parasso Green uh, signature soaps that's uh, like a lemongrass, lime, lemon, sweet orange and lavender um, Boots the chemist shave stick uh, what do we have back here Purasso Red um, that is Trumper's sandalwood um, Boots the chemist shave soap that's the hard puck. Uh, Art of shaving, sandalwood. 
Um, inside that is a OSP spice road, um, which is kind of written on the side. Uh, inside this is palm olive <coughs> shave sticks that I've just grated up and put inside this tub. Professor Blighty Jasmine, and that's another um, Wickham's 1912 prototype. It's like a fougere that I was testing. So that's that one. <laughs> that's that drawer. Okay, I'll just um, put this stuff back in and I will close it over and then we can then discuss what's inside it. Okay, on to drawer number three now. And the first one is Tiki Bar Soap, The Captain. Uh, this is a wonderful scent again. Um, look, you can actually see the bottom of the tub. Woohoo! <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just a nice, um, it's a pipe tobacco, it's a, quite a sweet, quite a sweet scent. Um, yeah, and because you can see the bottom of that, I went and bought another. <laughs> Which, um, I've taken some samples out. But the great, uh, same scent, great performing soaps, tiki bar soaps, fabulous. Uh, what else do we have in here? The Taconic Shave Bay Rum. Uh, this is a cream. I've not actually used this yet, but it has a wonderful scent. It's um, it's quite spicy, but nice. And I'm going to use that soon in a, an upcoming video. Wickham's Super Smooth English Lavender. Um, some people know about Wickham's, they've just reformulated the, their soaps. I think they're stopping making the super smooth, but um, the English lavender, yeah, very nice. Very calming for a, a, an evening shave. Very nice. Um, Phoenix and Bow Sanskrit. Phoenix and Bow are quite a new um, soap maker on the scene, but wonderful performing soap. And the scent, fantastic. Uh, sandalwood, black pepper and cardamom. I was actually one of the testers for Phoenix and Bow when um, they were uh, testing out their soaps. Um, so I was one of the testers, which was good. Um, Wickham's Super Smooth, and this is Bay Rum. And I got this from Ian at the Gentleman's Groom Room, and this is one of the first um, batches of soaps that Wickham's put out. Not batches, but, you know, they were in the... the kind of shallow tubs, plastic tubs like this. And again, I've taken out some samples. Um, and it's a wonderful smell. And it still performs, I don't know how old this is now, a few years anyway, but um, it still lathers up and performs wonderfully well. Okay, um, Hasslinger Coconut. Haven't used this yet. The reason I bought it was because of the performance of the Hasslinger Honey Soap. Um, I don't I don't have a, a coconut scented soap, so I wanted to get that. Um, Williams mug shaving soap. Uh, I think I got this from Steve Keir. Thank you, Steve. And um, yeah, he says if you want to break your boar brushes in, <laughs> use this. So it's um, it's okay. It doesn't um, hang around long. Once you lather it up, it kind of dissipates quite qu quite quickly. Um, Shannon Soaps Woodland Frost. This is a, a kind of like a like a like a mint menthol, and I'll show you how much is left in this. Not much at all. I've taken some samples out. There wasn't much. I actually bought this from someone. Um, I think they actually gave it to me. They kind of threw it in with another few soaps, um, but it was kind of about half full when I got it. But I've been taking samples out to send to people and uh, I've been using it. Yeah, it's a wonderful performing soap, Shannon Soaps, really good. Uh, the Boots, the Chemist Shave Stick. And this comes in this little um, plastic thing like this and you lift it off and there's the shave stick there. And you put it back on and you just, there's a, this has a little thing just, just to hold it on. But um, I've not used it, but I've used the, the hard puck of soap and it's exactly the same, same scent. Uh, this is Wickham's 1912. This was one of the test soaps. 
uh, that Darren sent me and this is Scottish Heather um, very nice great performing soap um, as you know it's um, due for release quite soon the new this new formula I don't know if it's exactly the same as this he might have tweaked it slightly OSP orange and patchouli wonderful 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 scent on the OSP and great performing soap Body Shop Macaroot. I don't know if I told you this when I opened the drawer, but um, yeah, I've used this um, a couple of times. I used it in one video. Um, if you don't have Body Shop Macaroot, get some. Uh, Tim Soap Blue Suit. Yeah, I think I must have missed describing these ones because I can't remember saying that. Tim Soap um, Blue Soup. Tim Soaps are don't make soap anymore. There, Tim's was um, yeah, just a nice cologne, and I have taking samples out of this as well to send to people um, but a great performing soap and a wonderful scent nice cologne type scent um, this one is uh, a horse <laughs> this is tobacco <laughs> and uh, one of the super six it's a beautiful tobacco scented soap and it comes in this nice glass um, pot with a, a nice ceramic lid and it will last you forever but it's a, it's a wonderful soap uh, we're getting through these Phoenix and Bow Spitfire um, this, I used this in a video lovely uh, leather juniper tobacco and if you remember it was introduced by uh, Archie A.S. Howell um, yeah him <laughs> But it's uh, Phoenix and Bow, great performing soaps again. Um, another soap maker that's no longer with us, Knockout Shave, Cool Blue. Um, I, I was sent this. I've taken some samples out. Yeah, it's just a nice. It's a nice, um, clean, kind of like a barbershoppy type scent. Um, if anyone has Knockout Shave, Fougere, um, and they're and they're looking to get rid of it I'd like to buy it because I want to I want to try that I've heard it's very very good and uh, the scent on it is supposed to be amazing Prorasso uh, still in the box I like to keep it in the box uh, this is the green the eucalyptus menthol Prorasso is a great soap uh, Prorasso red again still in the box and I used this recently Wonderful, amazing soaps. Um, they should be in everyone's den. The Palmolive Shave Sticks, you can get these in the UK for 49p. <laughs> um, yeah, they're very cheap. Very cheap. Um, great soaps. This is OSP Neroli. And this is a. Oh, what a scent for the summer. Just a beautiful scent and again OSP wonderful performing soap. Uh, signature soaps. This is uh, lemongrass, lime, lemon, sweet orange and lavender. I used this in a video before and it's a it's a nice performing soap and it's a beautiful scent. And uh, I was sent this actually from a, a good buddy, John Mason. He sent me this soap. He picked some up and it's a, it's a British soap, a little artisan. He doesn't actually kind of put yourself out there enough to, to to make your soaps like you just a black tub simple label yeah I think he sells it at like markets and stuff like that but um yeah uh, Valobra patchouli uh, still in the box that it came in and again this is an amazing soap comes like like the razor rock with a little cap yeah it's got a nice scent on it but the performance on it is Stellar again. <laughs> Art of shaving sandalwood. I've not actually used this yet. Uh, my nephew was in the States recently and he picked me up a few things. Uh, this being one of them Art of shaving sandalwood cream. Again with the little razor rock lid. Yeah, beautiful scent. Um, supposed to be one of the best performing creams you can buy so looking forward to using that sometime in the future 
Um, this is a this was a tub that had some I think it was moisturizer or something in it. But I've, what I've done is palm olive. I've grated about four or five palm olive shave sticks and just just pressed them into there um, to use just to make it a bit easier. Um, Professor Blighty Jasmine Formula 31. Professor Blighty, now look how much, there's not hardly any of this soap left. Professor Blighty was a, a UK artisan maker um, a few years back and I was sent this just recently actually. Um, just someone said, um, do you want to try it? He's not on the scene anymore and I don't think he's making soaps. I think he's an author or yeah, I think he, he writes books, a guy that does this. I don't actually know but the scent on this is amazing. Jasmine, it's um, when I first smelt it I thought it's a bit too um, floral but oh, it's a beautiful scent and it's an amazing performing soap, really really nice. Yeah, it's just a pity that he's not making soaps anymore. Um, I'm sure some guys have got Professor Blighty soaps. He did a, a whole range of scents. Uh, another Wickham's 1912. This was uh, again sent to me as a tester. And this is like a, a fougere scent. Uh, again, as you know, it's coming out in the next week or two. Darren has uh, reformulated it. I don't know if it's the same formula as this. It won't be that much different. Um, this is, I'll just put this into a, a tub, but this is OSP Spice Road. Um, and there's the soap there. I've taken some samples out. And it smells like, um, it smells like, it's kind of along the lines of bay rum, but not like a bay rum, if that makes sense. Um, I think James was James Riley, OSP, the OSP soap maker. I think he was trying to um, make some kind of along the lines of Old Spice, possibly. But um, I don't think this one passed the test for the, the EU regulations. And um, I think he was having troubles to kind of doing that. So I think he, he, he's given up. But it may come back in the future, OSP Spice Road. But again, it's a beautifully performing soap. It performs fantastically well. Um, two to go. <laughs> this is the Boots for Men shave soap in the little pug. Pug? <laughs> pug! <laughs> in the uh, tub. <laughs> the little puck and it has the it has the Boots logo on the bottom. If I can just screw that in. There we go. There's the Boots logo on the bottom. And it's just a just a soapy scent. <laughs> but I used it recently in a video and it's a uh, yeah, it was nice, nice to use. The last one is, uh, where are we? there we go, GOF Trumper's Sandalwood Shaving Cream. Um, I got this when I was in London recently, when I went and visited all the shaving shops, and this has a little plastic film on it, and there it is there, look, unused. But it's amazing. I have the uh, cologne to go with this in it. Um, it lasts forever, the scent on the cologne. So that's GOF Trumper Sandalwood. Uh, and that's all that's in that drawer. And um, do we have another one? Let's have a look. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> okay, uh, that's drawer number one, two, three. We'll go on to drawer number four now. Okay, so the next one is number four. K Shave Works Cure for a Belly Ache. K Shave Works Gripalicious. Uh, Stash Soap Works Maxwell. Saponificio Varicino 70th Anniversary. Barrister and Man Lavenil. Uh, DR Harris Windsor. Tillerville Bond Street Sandalwood. Soap Commander Courage. Mitchell's Wool Fat. Trumpers Spanish Leather. Um, Erasmic Cream. Uh, Dove. Shave cream, Crabtree and Evelyn West Indian Lime. Uh, that's a, a cream and a balm set. Boots, Cool Cologne Lather Shave Cream. Uh, Real Shaving Company Traditional Shave Cream. 
Boots Fresh with brushless shave cream Nivea Men Original Shave Cream Palmolive Shave Cream Nivea Men Sensitive Shave Cream um, Ingram's Shave Cream and I think that's Supermax Shave Cream So we'll take this one out and we'll take a look at that Okay here we go for drawer number 4 First up K Shave Works Cure for a Bellyache Ah, oh, fantastic. Coconut and lime. Beautiful scent. Fantastic performing soap. K Shave Works, Grapealicious. <sighs> Grapealicious is delicious. Um, yeah, as I can see, I've taken some samples out. Um, excellent soaps. K Shave Works, awesome. Uh, GOF Trumper Spanish Leather Cream. Um, it's just you only you're only able to buy this in um, a, a little tube like this. Um, I thought you would get it in a tub, but they don't do it in a tub. They only do it in the in the the, the tube like this. But it's um, amazing scent, Spanish leather, kind of self descriptive. Uh, Nivea Men. This is the original cream um, in the box. And there's the tube, there's what it looks like. I think I've used this once and it's a really, really fantastic underrated cream. Um, really nice. What else do we have in here? This is the Nivea Men Sensitive Shave Cream. Uh, a little bit different in scent from the, the blue original one. Not much, but again, this one has no alcohol in it so if you're looking to have it with a meal <laughs> um, Real Shaving Company traditional shave cream uh, I think I, I must have picked this up really cheap uh, I don't think I ever use it but um, it's quite a nice performing soap it lathers up easy, it's a nice scent on it yeah, quite good um, Boots Cool Cologne Lather Shave Cream um, I think I've did this in the Boots video and um, I don't think I've tried this but I will, I will use it one day um, yeah but it's it's cheap to pick up I think it's, I think it was one pound one pound something something like that um, Ingram's uh, this is a, a cream again it comes in a tube like this and it's a uh, menthol it's got a nice menthol kick to it. I've used Ingram's before, a sample, so I bought the, the tube. But I haven't actually shaved with it yet. With this particular one. Soap Commander Courage. Fantastic scent. Performance, 10 out of 10. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. Um, another horse. This is um, Mitchell's Wool Fat, comes in this nice pot, um, there it is there. Not much scent to it but um, really really nice, nice for your skin, performs wonderfully well. Some say it's hard to lather, I don't get that. Um, yeah, it's a, a, an English soap. Uh, what else do we have in here? Dove. Men Care Sensitive Cream, I think someone must have sent me this. Um, but I'll just keep it anyway. Erasmic Shave Cream. Uh, this is a quite a, actually quite a good performing cream. I've used it. I've used actually some of these creams I've used to, to lather up um, just to break in my bore brushes. <laughs> but um, they lather very, very well um, and the scent on them is quite nice. Ah. Saponificio Veracino, 70th anniversary. And this is a comes in this wonderful tin and it's a triple milled soap. Citrusy. Just a wonderful scent. And the performance on this is fantastic. Um, it's quite a, it's a little bit more expensive than your normal soap, but um it will last you forever and the scent on it and performance is fantastic. 
One of the Super 6 again, Tobbs Sandalwood, Taylor of Old Bond Street, Sandalwood Shave Cream. And this is... I don't know anyone that doesn't like the scent of that. It doesn't agree with everyone's skin, but fantastic scent. Um, Barrister and Man Lavanil. I've not actually used this yet, but... Um, and there's the soap there, you can see it's a dark, dark brown. Oh, the scent on this is so complex. It's dark, it's woody, it's chocolatey, it's vanilla. Oh, it's just, it's just delicious. Lavender, a dark lavender. Oh, so complex, but um, amazing. I can't wait to use that. Barrister Man Lavanil. Um, when, uh, DR Harris Windsor. I used this in a, a recent video. This was, um, I put it in this tub. This was um, the Highland Soap Company, handmade in Scotland. I don't know what they made it out of. I think it must have been balloons or something because it was absolutely rubbish as a shave soap. Um, I think I used it as a bath soap. But there's um, DR Harris Windsor, exactly the same scent as. Razor Rocks on a Zeus, but um, I think this has probably been out um, a little bit longer than Razor Rock, probably, um, yeah, going back over a hundred years, I think. Uh, what else do we have in here? Stash Soapworks Maxwell. This is Erica Salmon's company. Yeah, what a scent. Lavender, Spearmint, Orange, Tangerine, Bergamot, Sandalwood. Fantastic. Beautiful soap. And 20% of the profits from Maxwell, the range Maxwell, are going to the Autism Society in America, which is a, a very, very worthy cause. Um, Supermax Ultimate Shave Cream. This uh, comes in a, a tube like that. I think I got this from a guy in Ireland called Barry McLaughlin. Hello, Barry. Um, thank you very much for that. I shall use it someday. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to use all these. Um, the Pomolov Men Classic. This is the kind of the the, shape, the same as the the shave stick, but in a, a cream form. Some people prefer it to to having to lather up a hard a hard soap, but it's kind of the same and um, but in a cream. Yeah, great performance, and again, very very cheap in the UK. Um, Boots Freshwood brushless shave cream. Uh, I've not actually used this. I bought it because it was very cheap when I was in Boots one day. <laughs> uh, and lastly, in this drawer, this is the Crabtree and Evelyn West Indian Limes. I bought this um, just after Christmas. I think it was on sale in um, Crabtree and Evelyn. Um, so th there's the cream there. And there's the balm, and that you, you get that little key with it as well. You can't see it because the. I'm just going to take this plastic off because it's creating quite a shine. Yeah, so the, it comes in this lovely box. You get this little key, and you put the key on the end of the the tube, and you wind the key when you're, uh, if you want the cream to come out, so the 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 tube doesn't split because the tube's made of metal, which is quite a good idea. So that's. Uh, that's all that's in that drawer. Um, I think that's everything, is it? Let me just take a look. Yep, the next one's got um, brushes and razors and stuff. And I've just found some more soaps, so I will show you these. Uh, this was uh, this has been put into a, a little plastic tub by me, and this is Art of Shaving Sandalwood. Uh, this is the hard puck of soap, and it's in here. Um, you can see it on the side there. Art of shaving style would have just written on the side. Um, yeah, so that just stays in there. Um, these soaps were actually in another um, container um, down on the side. This is uh, Art of Shaving Unscented. And this is, uh, this hadn't been opened, this is still in the plastic and it came in this little um, pouch, which is kind of quite nice. Um, the other one that I forgot to show you was Palmal Barber Shave Cream, which I've reviewed recently, and this is a wonderful cream. Comes in this um, little pump dispenser, 
very nice. Uh, and the rest of the things here I have are samples. Um, I'm not exactly sure what soap this is inside this. It's a <laughs> it smells quite um, citrusy, but it's not case shave works because it's been scribbled out. Um, this is another check and speak sample. I think it's um, I'm not sure. Well, actually, I would be guessing because I don't know what it is. But it's a, it has a nice cologne type scent. Um, and the rest are just samples. Katie's Bubble, Celtic Knot, and there's all the samples that I've used recently in the samples videos. I keep them in them. You see, the good thing about keeping them in this tub is you have to finish off all these Max and Spencer's millionaire money bites <laughs> before you can put the soap in. So, yeah, that's always fun. Um, oh, and here's another. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's got lots of samples in it as well. Kind of fill up. But again, it was uh, I, I was really, really struggling to to finish off the Marks and Spencer's Millionaire Mini Bites. Yeah, because I wanted to get my samples in. So, <laughs> so that's the Shave Den tour. Um, whether it'll be the first, second or third part, I don't know. But that's the part with the soaps and creams. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's not been too long. Um, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. I don't know if it'll be, if there will be a shave video in between. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know. It depends how quick I can um, do them and upload them and edit them and stuff like that. But um, until the next time, we'll see you soon and take care and we we'll look forward to the next edition of the Shave Den Tour.